Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro after a long time. I know we've been recently making a lot of videos for the Pocophone F1, which is really, really fine because that is a legendary device and the X3 Pro is coming to the channel. So the term Poco makes a lot of sense. Anyways, we are back to the K20 Pro Raphael N and what we are doing here today is we're going to install Corvus OS 15. Some apologies to issue because you have been requesting this video for a couple of weeks and I haven't been able to get on the channel, but I'm installing it now. We'll review it and we'll try to you know do a live stream or a gaming review so what do we have here corvus os 15 ravenclaw official android 11 update on the 3rd of april 2021 and always make a nand backup okay all those instructions will come later let's see what do we have here in the device change log all right so they have a bunch of fixes over here you can pause the video and you can have a look so before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community and other social media handles you can follow us there and have some fun last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so disclaimer, things that you need to take care of and things that you need. First of all, you need a Redmi K20 Pro, which has an unlocked bootloader and does have a custom recovery like TWRP or Orange Fox re recovery installed. In our case, we always use Orange Fox on most of our devices. Make sure you've backed up all the information on your phone, including the internal storage, because the way we install ROMs on phone ops is we wipe everything, including internal storage, to get the best experience and make sure that don't have any bugs now the two files that i'll be using over here is one is the rom file which comes with g apps and the second file is of course the firmware of 12.0.4 or 12.0.5 i would suggest use 12.0.4 because this rom was released before 12.0.5 was out now the question is i am on the global 12.0.4 so i won't be flashing the firmware file apart from this i would recommend you remove your fingerprint face unlock screen lock remove all the google accounts mi account everything so that you don't have any encryption decryption issues and if you want to stay encrypted flash the dfe file after flashing the rom in our case we will just be flashing the corvus os file and we will have a look at the initial impressions and see how smooth it runs on first boot so to start it all we first need to boot into orange fox recovery all right so in my case i have the rom file copied to the folds internal memory you can choose to use a usb pen drive with a type c connector like this or you can copy it to your phone's internal memory but in case you're going to format data I would suggest first format data then connect to the computer from TWRP and copy the file. So the first thing that we are going to do here is of course we will boot into Orange Fox. To do that you have to press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the Redmi logo. There you go. The MI logo on the screen powered by Android. Orange Fox recovery. Now in case you are encrypted it will ask you for your password which is your lock screen password. You can enter that and then it will tell you to or then it will decrypt your phone's internal storage. Now as I said we are on 12.0.4.0 global stable. So we are not going to wipe vendor. We are not going to wipe internal. We will flash the ROM first and once the flashing is done we will go ahead and do a format data. So first go to wipe Dalvik cache system and data don't wipe internal storage in vendor if you are on official miui 12.0.4 or global and don't wipe vendor as well all right now once the wipe is done there's just one file that we need to flash that is the corvus os 15 swipe to confirm flash now this is a file which is around 1.5 gigabytes so it will take around one to two minutes to flash although we do have the fast ufs 2.1 on this phone but let's wait for the file to be flashed and then we will have a look at the beautiful rom all right so the rom has been flashed we will now go to the main screen go to the three lines over here select manage partitions data tick mark format data and type in yes 
okay now when you do this it wipes everything on your internal storage as i said at the start of the video and then you should be good to go now what this will do is this will essentially give us a very very clean flash and it will avoid you having any errors and remember we flashed the g apps version which means we don't need to separately flash google apps which itself is a problem with android 11 because g apps are still not there and that's the beautiful corvus os logo or boot animation let's wait for it to completely boot and then we will skip the setup menu and have a look at the raw all right so just like that we are on the home screen of corvus os now a very very familiar ui google discover to the left buttons to the bottom some applications here and there now i am restoring data so the apps will keep getting added but in the initial impressions if you have a look you don't really have a lot of applications and if you have a look at the camera over here this is the same very very basic google camera it's not a gcam don't confuse this to a gcam this is a google camera and the back and front are working as expected there you go the pop-up camera is working now from the top if you swipe to the bottom the notification tiles are working absolutely okay and you do have a ton of customization options over here now that is what i like about corvus you have gaming mode you have this that all sorts of things and of course i will be doing either a live stream or a gaming review on this now what amazes me is just look at the smoothness over here the way the wallpaper comes so these small small things actually define the quality of the rom now we will of course go into settings to have a deeper dive at this particular rom so once you go to settings you are greeted with with a colorful ui you have raven's liar raven themes so we'll get into that in a minute but when you go to about phone and click on android version you do have all the details over here the kernel of course is perf kernel so on the poco phone f1 as well as on the k20 pro you have perf kernel across most of the custom roms so that is a good thing and now over here you see that there are different icons and everything else is pretty smooth and pretty organized but if you actually go to raven's liar that is where all the magic happens for corvus os you do have notifications gestures miscellaneous lock screen item fingerprint preferences a ton of fingerprint customization now remember the k20 pro does have a finger on display so that is something we will check in the full review you have battery options clock options icon manager quick settings traffic indicators now all that is fine and dandy but when you have a look at these animations that you get these you know things which they work hard on making the rom look better is what makes the rom polished for me now even if you go to raven themes you have a ton of customization that you can go ahead and make so all in all you know since the time the rom has booted the phone is working absolutely fine i have used this in the past voice over wi-fi voice over lt all the other features like carrier video calling so let's dial 198 and see if we have call recording right so this is using the google dialer unfortunately we don't have call recording and that's what happens when you flash a rom which has g apps pre-built so if any one of you have flashed the vanilla version let me know in the comment section if that is working for call recording or not all in all this is a pretty good rom i'll be using it on the k20 pro for a couple of days so as i said first impressions are pretty good those were the install instructions for you pretty simple pretty straightforward let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye